your character's storyline. Um, but when you entered onto the show, uh, Sonny was already comfortable with himself and yeah. very gay. Um, do you, <laughs> well, I mean, he was. Um, do, do you feel like the show handled the, the Sonny Will storyline? How do you feel that they handled that storyline? I think they, um, I think they did it. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just hold it for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was in my right yeah. ear. You have to hold the mic. <laughs> um, I have your grapes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm the biggest diva up here, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, no, I think they handled it very well. I think in 2011, it's really funny, um, talking about, you know, in 2011 and 12, it was, it was like, oh, playing a, the first gay character contract, play the first gay character, it was like a thing. And that was what any, everyone asked me for the first two, three years, is like, what is it playing the first gay character? What is it like playing, it was like so repetitive because it was that time when, when these love stories were coming, were coming to fruition and, and being out there. But here we are in 2019, nobody mentions the, the sexual orientation of my character, it's all, Sunny, Will, it's as if we're like everyone else, and that was yeah. the mission that we were after. And I think the coming out story for Will was very important. I think coming out stories are very important, but I also think we're at that time where it doesn't even have to be mentioned anymore, that there is just a movie where it doesn't have any backstory of someone being a part of the LGBTQ plus community. It's just, this is just a story. Like they don't explain in movies that I'm straight, and I, it's just you just watch a movie, and I think we're getting to that point. And to be in this character's shoe over the past eight years, I've seen this gradually change. And I know we have a long way to go, but I'm very proud of the progress that we that we've made. So I'm just glad that I get to be a small part of it. So when uh, when I first started, I, I looked at it as we were going to tell this tasteful love story between two men. And it was for a community of people that weren't represented on Days of Our Lives prior. So I knew there was going to be a lot of people who were going to tune into this and really enjoy it. And uh, like Ryan said too, it's like, you know, you have to trust the writing. And we trusted the writing. We um, created something special and it clicked. And I didn't understand until years later that what we're actually doing is, yes, we were breaking down barriers. But now we're just continuing to educate and give people a perspective that they might not have. I don't think people are inherently bigoted. Um, I think they just have a lack of education and perspective. I think they might have grown up in a town that it isn't accepted, that they don't really know, and they've just been isolated in this 10 mile square radius, and they don't realize that there are there's so much more out there. So as much as it can be frustrating when people don't understand, I try to have empathy in the sense that not everyone has that perspective, and it's our job in media and entertainment to be a platform to share stories, to open people's mind to have a different perspective. And, um, and I think we're all doing that, and uh, you know, the entertainment business is doing it very well, so I'm glad we're telling these stories, and I'm glad that I was able to be a part of it, so. Yeah. Um, came out to their grandmother by saying, I'm just like Sonny. And um, I, that is when it all clicked to me of just like what we're actually doing here um, at such a scale. And uh, so I really appreciate that, and I love that with daytime, with soap operas, that it's generational. It's not very, I don't think there's anything else that someone 17 and 92 would be watching together. So I love that, that soap opera thing. Yeah, the challenge, yeah. Um, so I think, yeah, I think it's great that it's generational. I mean, it's, um, at the moment, I, I really, I was just really excited to, to be doing what I love to do. You know, and like, and this isn't a very deep answer, but it's the truth. Like, I, I was just very happy to have the opportunity to be auditioning, to be having roles, and I understood the impact. Mm -hmm. And with 90210, I, you know, there was kind of hype that it was going to be this amazing character, and for whatever reason, um, it kind of just fell flat. Like the whole character in general, it was just kind of like, hey, and then, and then. Mm -hmm. And so um, I was really excited that I got to actually have another shot um, and play Sonny Kiriakis, and to have the amount of screen time to tell this story was awesome. Because I think if you tell a movie, it can be done amazing, you do an hour and a half, and it can be the most impactful movie in the world. But there's also something special about, you know, 800 episodes of Sunny Kiriakis now is out there in this love story. So, um, veered off your question completely, this feels like the Democratic debate today. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, I didn't know. No, I just <laughs> want to... <laughs> Spending the, the day with us, it's just always great getting a good group of people together. And uh, I think that's kind of how our whole book started in general, is that we just took stories in our life, and we just really wanted to put our words out there, our stories out there, and just find like-minded people who are just really trying to 
you know, live a positive lifestyle, be kind to others. And I think with all the negativity in the world right now, that positivity does need to be louder. We think it doesn't go you know, far saying something nice on social media or in life, but it really does. So I think the more kind you are to people, the more you're honest and authentic and genuine, um, it's really gonna help move us forward as a culture. And um, you know, not that we're gonna champion the whole thing here, but we like to be a small part. And that's why we decided to put some stories and chapters together and, um, and it turned into something great. So we appreciate all of you who you know, gained value from it, um, hearing your stories. And, um, and we have a couple of them here. And uh, these are actually our last four copies of the actual soft cover because we're moving it into a new direction. So this is gonna kind of be a collector's item, if you will. <laughs> It'll have the solid value of $23 that you can sell later in life. So, oh my gosh. Uh, but all, but all, any, any book that is purchased today is going to True uh, Colors United, which yes. is for a great cause. So, yeah. um, and I have to say too, guys, it's been so awesome because when we first even thought about this idea of the book, we go, we just want to do this to help other people, right? We want mm. people to learn from our lessons because why not sprinkle that positivity and have a big ripple effect? And Heather, hearing your story coming up to us, no, really, it means the world. What she shared with us, it just touched my heart so much. And I, I appreciate you and thank you for letting us know, you know, your story because it really means the world. So if we just touch one person, I know we're doing our job. And it's been just such a blessing with the Pivot Principle, hearing online from everyone, the stories, connecting with other like-minded people. Just, there's nothing like it. So thank you guys so much for uh, all your kind words. We really, really appreciate it. It means a lot. Yeah, and then and for those of you too who, who, have, who have read it or will read it, um, you're gonna hear a lot of really cool stories. But for those of you who um, haven't, um, I just wanna kinda just give you like a few of our favorite uh, chapters or little things that you can take with you. And um, you know, the whole concept of it is essentially, we call it the pivot principle because we want people to not feel afraid of change. And I think that's what we realized growing up is just that every time you want to step out of your comfort zone, make a change, change a career, change a relationship, it is the most terrifying, crippling thing to everyone. And we wanted to, sh to share really authentic and raw stories, which I was telling Heather earlier when we were talking too, some, we didn't really share a couple of these stories of our lives for a while because it was a little embarrassing and we didn't know how it was going to be perceived. But we started realizing we have a lot of eyeballs on us. And when we started sharing them, we're, we hear more people come up to us and say, I was in a car accident or I know someone that this happened to and this was so, so great. So I think the message in general too, no matter if there's two people paying attention or two million people paying attention, share your stories yeah. because it can help other people and that's what we're all here to do on this planet. And, and we this can't control really what happens to us, but yeah. we can control how we react to the situation and that is huge. Yeah. So we're not going to sit and preach or anything like that, but um, um, everyone get a notebook out and write the 10 things that you want. There's going to be a pop quiz in the end. There is, there is. Um, so that's all. If anyone has any questions, we're more than uh, welcome to, to answer them. It could be about the book or anything else. Um, and if not, then I know the other crew's coming out so we can all have a party and talk about whatever you'd like to talk about. So uh, we just appreciate your attention yeah. and your time and, you. and for all of you being here for for not only you know this moment, but for this this amazing cause, and yes. um, to continue to bring awareness to everything that's uh, going on in the world, and and uh, all your stories too about you know like Sunny and, and the the love story that we have told, um, and how it's impacted people in a positive way has also meant a lot. So I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate you all. Yeah.